it feels amazing. It's definitely a, one of the dream come trues, and it was definitely a, a perfect three days out in the boat where we never lost a good fish. Uh, we just happened to find the fish. E each day we had our all our way fish by noon. It was definitely picture perfect. Where it, it's, I, I grew up watching everybody, and to be on this stage with every all these pros, the best anglers in the country, and to be able to finish on top, it's definitely just an achievement I've been looking forward to for my whole life. So our first pass, we had three 19 to 19 and a half inches, and then about an hour later, we got a 28 and a half, which was about nine and a half pounds, and then the next next cast, I got a 26 and a half, which was about I think a six and a half or seven and a half pounds, somewhere in there. So what? It, okay, so you got that 28 and a half on. You got it in the. I mean, what what are you thinking? What's going? What's it like for you as you're fighting that fish and landing that fish and once you get the, it in the boat? The, the nerves are definitely running when they're when I was fighting that fish. It, it felt like I fought him for 10 minutes. It was, he'd come up a little bit and just dig right back down from the bottom. No, it's, it, it definitely had me, had me worried bringing him up. It was nice to have two great co-anglers for the three days. That they all did well on the boat and it, it was just a perfect, perfect weekend. And so have you ever fished Otter Tail Lake before? Not this one, but I'll be coming back for sure. What was your impressions of this fishery? At first I didn't think it was very good at all as far as numbers. Beautiful. I came up here right away and the leaves started turning every day. Like another another shade of orange, another shade of red. And um, it's just, the, the, the water is beautiful. The structure in here is amazing. I can't believe you go on a shelf and it just drops like a wall straight off. And um, I look at the top of map, or the maps over here and it's just, you'd think that walleyes are everywhere and they're not, but once you find them, you know they're there. Um, it's, it was a tough pre fish. I mean, there'd be days I go and catch one or two walleyes. And then when we go out here, it was just game day, it was totally different. So. I, I enjoyed it. I probably bring my family up here sometime in vacation and check out. I think there's other places in Ottertail County that have nice lakes too. So. Yeah. And, and what was it like fishing with Eric? That kid's amazing. Yeah, he, he's uh, he's quiet in the boat, but he's also uh, very nice. And you know, some guys. I, I would say actually most guys in this tour are all really good to fish with. They're all decent guys. A lot of them have their own side businesses and stuff to support their fishing. A lot the love of fishing. Um, so I'm I'm an entrepreneur as well. So I actually uh, I get along with those kind of type mind people. You know, like business owners and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm I'm kind of like mentally and emotionally like exhausted from like being out there and like the nerves and so it's hard hard to say the right thing <laughs> so that, that's right you've said it a ton so I, and that was my last question was be can you describe how you're feeling right now like what is this holding um, that trophy being up on stage can you describe kind of want somebody to pinch me so i can wake up the dream all right congratulations good job thanks for coming i found some fish in pre-fishing and the way i uh, do my pre-fishing is I use my 2D size I use all my electronics life scope everything to find fish and, and I, I only fish and probably catch one or two off a spot that's it I don't catch very many during pre-fish I look I look for them mark them see that they're there because I know I can catch them so that that's the difference so like for me I, I feel like some of these fish could be resident, and so I don't want to go out there and um, uh, like slurm mouth the fish before the tournament. I just went out and do what I do: look for fish, look for bait, look for structure, and uh, try to pick them off. Are you using plastics? Are you using some artificials? Are you using live? I don't need your I, secret lure, no, but no, like, no. like I what use, type of presentation? I, I typically use plastics. I have. I can't even tell you how many styles and colors and brands and everything of plastic bait. Um, but the thing is, I don't. Here, I, I tried plastics in practice, and they worked. But then when I went to set the hook, the a lot of times it felt like a dang rubber band. Like I I set it, it was like jerk, and then pop right back because they were short striking the they were just biting the tail. So then I uh, like okay. I gotta, I gotta do live bait. So I, uh, I got minnows and crawlers and went out and 
caught them a little bit better, but they are even eating that short. So, yeah, so is live bait so on from, this tournament. Gotcha. And so you're from Moorhead, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Do you is this? Do you fish this lake before? Do you fish this lake often? How often? That's crazy. Lake? I've never been here. Um, I've never been here to this lake ever. I only like hour and fifteen minutes from here, but uh, this is the first time I've uh, been to Otter Tail Lake.